I'm so proud of you. Well, thank you. <laughs> it's my pleasure. But it's honestly amazing what you do with the academy, though. Honestly, it's so incredible. I mean, when, when did it all start for you with that academy? Was it a fairly recent thing over the last couple of years, or was it way back? Just a few years. 2014, I'd, um, I'd finished the bodyguard, and um, it was, I'd finished it, and again, all the children, just the messages that you get off kids, and especially, you know, graduates and people, because it's the academy age is um, from four, you know, up to 23. Mm -hmm. So a big age, age gap. And I've got kids that come and see me in Panto who are, you know, four or five and love to dance and are confident around the living room and their parents. I get videos sent all the time of kids, be, parents being like, what should I do with this child? She, she loves music. Can you help? What's the best? What's your advice? <laughs> and then I've got, you know, I get, you know, young adults and young, young kids who are, you know, at stage schools uh, or graduates and they want to learn something new and they want to keep, you know, growing and, and so the academy is just for a, a larger range. And I'll be honest, I get quite a few adults as well. So I'm quite tempted to put an adult one on because some adults are like, we'd love to do one. And I'm like, <laughs> maybe the children, but I get it, I get it. But, um, the, so yeah, 2014, I opened it. Um, and I got great support from lots of lo lo local people in particular and people who followed, then people who followed me from my career throughout the years. And um, I got some great, you know, celebrity videos of support from Anton Deck. So for mm. me, that was amazing in the North and, you know, Alfie Bo and, you know, West End stars, Maz Murray and just people of inspiration for, for children. Um, and the first one, I was just panicking. Obviously, I was really nervous because you, you don't know how it's going to go. And, of course. Um, and it just, it runs well. I've got a very tight knit group of people that work for me, which is my family. I don't mm -hmm. have anyone else other than the staff, but my family work for me. So, you know, my sister, she runs the register and you make sure that everyone's signed in. I've got my cousin who, who runs the uh, the merchandise stand. My mom has the older group, my mega stars. And my dad does all the sound and the music and the lights for the wow. show and performance. Um, my dad's wife does the, um, does the shooting star, the middle group. Um, and so it's... It works well, but it's all it's all family because they get it, they love it as well. Every time you know they it comes across, I send them groups a message to the group. There's academy coming up, <laughs> the theme. Um, and this year we uh, the academy we are going to be um, accompanying um, Calabro. The really? Talent. Yeah, they they're doing the a big arena tour and they're coming to the Gateshead Sage and and the Zoeberg Academy is going to be the choir. Wow. So, uh, yeah, we've got a, a few very exciting things that are going to be happening hopefully this year uh, with the Academy. Brilliant. That is so amazing. I'm so proud of you. That is incredible. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> but talk, talk about the old West End shows. I mean, you've done such, you obviously mentioned Bodyguard as well. I mean, you've done some amazing ones like obviously Bodyguard, Thriller, Hair, yeah. like so many. I mean, do you have any personal favourite ones of yours that you've done over the years? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, f the first one I ever did West End wise was um, Priscilla. Priscilla. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And that was just an incredible show to be a part of. It was just so flamboyant. The songs were right up my street. It was, I was one of the divas, and it was all, uh, you know, I Will Survive, Gloria Gaynor, Shaky Groove thing. And it was a finally, you know, mm. uh, loads of Sister Sledge songs. So my style to a T. I couldn't mm -hmm. have picked a better musical to be in. <laughs> um, and then, you know, Thriller. For me, I've, I've grown with Thriller throughout the years. I, I was I originated the part back in 2007 when it wasn't even in West End. Um, and then when it went to West End, I joined the show and I've opened it all over the world. I've opened it in Brazil, South Africa. Wow. I've been a Michael Jackson book um, as the as the female lead. And so that that show will always be home for me. I have such special memories of Thriller because I, you know, as a woman, I, I just, I've gone from, you know, a 21 year old child in that musical. And then the last time I was in it, you know, I was like 28. So I grew quite a bit through that period of being through, uh, with Thriller. Um, but then Bodyguard, I think as, as an actress was huge for me because it was such a big acting role, very demanding. And obviously as a singer, I mean, you know, from the moment the curtain goes up, it's queen of the night. And I think you feel the pressure because the audience are like, you better be able to sing, girl. You better be able to sing. So you actually kind of feel that. But I knew that I could, you know, I've, I've grown up singing Whitney and I, I sung Whitney Houston songs throughout the whole of Pop Idol. So I knew mm. I could sing Whitney. Can you sing Whitney eight times a week? That's another thing, you know, so making sure that you're physically fit, vocally fit, looking after yourself. And and then again, as, a, as an acting role, I was never off stage because that type of role is just the most demanding one. I think it's it's up there with like the alphabet. You're never off stage. Um, you do when you're even doing quick changes, you're, you know, you're getting a quick change in, in the wings. You've got like 
the quickest one we had was like 20 seconds mm. um, wow. into my how long was of your dress and it was literally a magnet dress they whipped it off put oh. a new one on changed my wig style put jewelry on i had someone give me a quick straw of water hand the microphone and then <laughs> I, so it was the most <laughs> craziest fastest time so even when you're off stage you're not off you're not in mm. your dressing room chilling you're doing something else crazy so but that every day, eight shows a week, was is very, very cool and on, on you. But again, loved it. Absolutely loved it. And just blessed that I've, you know, I've been able to play that part. That is amazing. Because I was going to ask you about how physically demanding it actually was to be on stage at the West End. Right. You must have been exhausted by the end of it, though. Or yeah. were you just full of adrenaline the whole way through and you didn't have time to be tired? Yeah, I mean, you do. But I think when the contract ends is when you get ill. Because <laughs> yeah. <you're literally> like, <laughs> Your body goes, oh, you're done now, are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but be, being on the West End stage, I think people who aren't in it may kind of be, oh, that looks fun, just two hours of dancing and singing. You don't realise it's not just two hours, it's your whole life. Mm -hmm. You know, the sacrifices that you need to make, especially as a singer, because I think, um, obviously, the, the dancer, you've got to be physically fit in, in, in your body, making sure that is. And I always say, whether you're a singer, dancer, actor, you're, you're living a life as, a, as an athlete on mm. the West End, majority of people. Rock stars are different, but I'm just saying in, in theatre, you are an athlete. Um, you know, I used to wake up again, I would train, making sure I'm taking the right vitamins, going on vocal rests, making sure I'm getting, you know, having a steam, going to a steamer. Uh, and it, it's a whole day every day of making sure your body is fit and well for 7.30. Mm. And you get to 7.30, you, you know, you get to work, you do your vocal warm-ups, you get ready, you get wigged you know you get prepped and then you've got like two hours like balls to the wall flat mm -hmm. out the majority of shows that i do are not chills i mean bodyguard thriller rock of ages everything is dancing singing full out sweating and you get to the end and, you, and you're kind of like okay you're like 10 o'clock that's finished the show, the show and you're on a high you're on such an adrenaline rush <laughs> and then you, you know you come out your costume and you get to stage door and there's fans there and people want to chat to you about your performance and it's brilliant you get home you're still on a buzz so I would never even sleep sometimes till like 1 a.m. in the morning because mm. you're still awake and you're still like vibing. <laughs> off the and then, you know, you go to sleep and hopefully get a good night's sleep and then you're back at it again and it's the same every single day. And do you know what? With live theatre as well, people say, oh, because you've been in the show for a year, do you, you know, you're not to get bored. How can you? Because yeah, how every can morning is going to be different. And if you're, a, if you're a good enough actress and you're on stage with some great talent, the majority of actors, although you can't, you know, divert, you know, diverse too much away from the script, you can put your own different spin on, on different nights. And there's a great actor called Lucas Rush, who I worked with in Rock of Ages, who's probably one of the best actors I've worked with in a, in a very long time. He's incredible. Um, he is an actor who's just sensational, and every night without fail would deliver lines differently, which keeps you on your toes as an actor. And you kind of never knew what he was going to say, but mm -hmm. I love that because it helps you grow as definitely. well. Definitely. Yeah. Um, so there's definitely, you know, it never for me ever gets stale. And if it ever does, I've, I'll be honest, I've never stayed in the show longer than a year. Mm. Even though I've been in Thriller for years, I can't, I left, I did other projects, I did other musicals, and then I came back like a year later. So I've never stayed con you know, consecu consecutively in a show for longer than a year because I think it's important to go away and grow, do something else, and then come back again.